Hey, good morning, guys. Um, I am sitting in front of uh, uh, European Motor Works in Hawthorne, California, waiting to pick up my uh, Type 4 case. I had him double check the, uh, the line bore. Um, I've heard and read rumors about and um, and uh, so I, I they they did my they did my um, my line bore. Uh, it's been two or three years ago, I guess, probably about three years ago, and you know the, the case has sat ever since. So I was going to bring it over to uh, uh, George at, at European Motor Works to um, uh, go ahead and deck it. They they did not do that. Uh, uh, did not do that. And while I was at it, I asked him, you know, I, go ahead and check the line bore because uh, did it. And he go his first first question. He goes, how long ago did they do it? And I told him it's been a couple of years. He said, okay. You're probably fine, but um, he was real, real uh, uh, hesitant, you know, um, because of of I don't I, I don't want to bash, don't know them, um, but rumor has it they screw up a lot. Anyways, um, once I get in there with uh, once they open. Uh, European Motor Works, uh, they, they don't open until 9 o'clock, which is, I think, very unusual for a, a mechanic. But these guys have been doing this for, George has been doing this for 30 plus years. And I wanted to also give a, a shout out to Ian Carr, his uh, YouTube page on uh, his his 914 build. Uh, he said that, that Lynn Hoffman sent his case off from uh, back east to California to uh, uh, European Motor Works to have the the case decked, and that's why I'm, that's one reason why I'm here. Um, it is super important to have uh, uh, reputable companies do your work on on your engines. When when I tore the the uh, the case down, tore, tore the engine down. I had all chromoly uh, push rods except uh, one was a, an aluminum push rod. Previous owner had had a, a friend of hers uh, uh, do the work, so it's important do it right. Um, anyways, also uh, I talked to George about the the uh, oil uh, bypass. He designed a, a a correction for that that spring that is you know. 20 30 years old it kind of gets uh, wore out worn out and he's I'm I'm also purchasing that from him um I said I'll talk to you later in Ian's video um I'll, I'll put a link down below to it uh he did a FaceTime with uh uh Jake Raby and you know they they discussed what happened to his car. He finished the build and installed it, got it running and everything, ran great, and took it around the block a couple times and he was watching his uh um his oil pressure and it just drops to zero. Uh he gets back gets back home and and, and uh lets it cool off. And um, starts back up. It was run. It's oil pressure was fine. It was uh, you know sixty plus, and and five ten minutes later it drops to zero again. So he he FaceTime with uh, Jake Raby, and they went through it. And and one of the responses was uh, you know did you check your your uh, uh, oil pressure uh, uh, relief valve? And he said, yeah, it's, it's new, blah, blah. He got that from Tangerine uh, uh, Performance. And so what about your other one, your second one? I guess a lot of the, the Type 4s don't have two uh, oil pressure release uh, valves. Mine does. So I'm going to have, a, uh, I'm going to buy a new plunger from, uh, from George here. At, at European Motor Works 
and that's gonna it's gonna eliminate that that weak spring so hopefully I don't run into that problem uh, Ian thanks for your video um, it, it, it definitely caught my eye and I watched it a couple times and thanks Jake for for your uh, uh, your input and your expertise <laughs> So how, how did you make sure that they were even this way? Uh, did it so it's on. Okay. Cool. You see? 19. So it's totally level all the way around. Right. Uh. So I have them check the uh, line bore that has been done by. Uh, they have to install a cam. A lot of people don't install a cam for uh, a line bore, but they do as a precaution. Look okay? Yeah. 
What does that mean? So we're on the high end on the, the first bearing, okay? But we're, we're on the low end on the, on the back bearing, okay? So, but it's not around, so it's high on one side and high on the other. So I might be able to run the, the bar through, okay, to clean it up. Okay, so we'll see. So how, how would that possibly happen when, when it was just, they just did it? So if your cutter is out of a little bit out of adjustment, has a little chip or something in it or something like that, you know, yeah, uh, you can have a problem. So if you, know, you know, and then also if they don't put the, the cam in like we do, you know, that, that's what I'm saying. That's that's what gets it, you know, aligned. You know, okay. by having the cam in there, not having the cam, it can be a little bit off, and you know, it's cutting on one side more than the other. You know, so. Exacto, me checas el la la barra, lo quitamos la so what we're going to try and do is we're going to we're going to take the, the cutters off the front one because that one's good. Yeah. Okay. And then just leave the cutters on the last three and run the bar through so we can you know get it to, to straighten. Okay. <laughs> I should have done that before I did it. Ah. Uh. 
problem is, you know, there's no line more 40 marriage, you know? Yeah. Otherwise, we could line more 40 and be done with it, you know? And we got to try and see if we can... So now what? Basura? I mean, it'll go 40, but I mean, if we can try and run the line more bar, but we'll have to adjust it, you know, and see. So let me let me work on it, and then uh, I'll let you know. We're going to try and cut it. And run the line bar without cutting the front line. We'll just cut these three back there. Okay, so we'll run the bar, we'll take those cutters off, and run these three, and then do the test again. Okay. Go ahead and go ahead and uh, and re drill the uh, uh, dowels. Yeah, we'll do all the dowels. Side, yeah. If it works out, then we'll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if it, does, if it doesn't clean up, then it gets too too wide, then we'll have to get another case. Because, you know, I can't get line bearings in 40. You can save this case when bearings are making them. So they will be available. Really? I mean, and we're probably talking six months or so or something like that, but we're talking about making 40 line bearings. So the case is still good for a build when we have bearings available. We're, we're going to make a cutter for, to, to line bearing 40. Right now we don't have one. Here. No, no one reason. Set up. There's no reason to have one. Right, right. So, so it, it'll be salvageable, you know, because it's 300 bucks, and then you don't want to see it, but, but I can look for another case for you, you know, and then look out a deal for you. Alright. Alright. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why you take it to a reputable shop, get your, your work done. Um, Fingers crossed, because I, I don't want to lose this thing. So we'll see what happens. Well, back in the truck. Hopefully, I pray that they're able to, uh, they're, they're going to line bore it <clears throat> to clean up the last three. They're going to skip the first one because that one's fine. But the last three are, are out of shape. 
Um, thanks. Appreciate that. If not, then I'm going to have to get another case. I'll talk to you guys later.